back. I am going to make arroz con pollo. Okay. For me. Okay, for Felipe. But I'm experimenting with chicken breast from a can. And see how this looks. Like this that. is different. And we're doing an, an episode. You're in an episode of, of my show. Our show, No Feathers in the Kitchen. Okay, so, so I have some oil in the stove already. And I had everything pre-cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my onions. And my peppers. And you're using an old school oh, caldero. caldero, which is an iron pot. It's not really iron. I think it's not steel? No, I think they're aluminum, which is not good. That's, but well, that's all right, but it's the old, the old, fashioned way of cooking. The old Lat Latino way of cooking rice. All right, so these, I need to cook these down so they sweat a little bit. And you, and you do know that because of what's going on, we're not, we've been eating indoors a lot. We're staying in. We're nesting. <laughs> Corona. <laughs> yeah, we're having coronita. <laughs> we're not in the chicken. <laughs> in the chicken, not from outside. From the bottle. <laughs> Wait a minute. And let you me can't get coronavirus from the coronita <laughs> beer. Mira, okay? deja ver eso, deja ver eso. You cannot get the virus from the beer. Please cook with it. Drink it. It's very good. I like to use coronas for my rice with chicken. So, oh, and I'm still, my flan is still cooking. This That's is amazing. That's beautiful. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's old school, old fashioned flan. It's almost done. So this is going to sweat a little bit like this. And I'll add the garlic. Listen to that sizzle. Let me put that to All right, I'm gonna open these. But then again, I have my wine as well. But you know, this is not the only thing that we do together. You also assist me with my social media, website and sites, and also uh, with the wedding Ministry, my officiating weddings, yeah, boy, Comic Con, we do, we do, we a, do lot. a lot, Comic, Comic Cons, Cons. concerts, you go. That's a lot. Oh, this smells wonderful. Too bad we don't have smell of it in. That, oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna add my garlic to it. This is just a quick way because I don't know how this is going to turn out. With my luck, it will turn out good because I did try to make something that comes out wonderful. Well, we bought the chicken with the tuna, cans of tuna, because we were stocking up on everything. And so we saw the chicken in the can. No, no, uh, what's her name? Um... No. Chicken of the Sea. What oh, no. Chicken of the Sea is tuna. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> the mermaid? No, the, uh, the singer. Oh, Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson. When she said, oh, it says tuna outside, but it's ch is this chicken? Because it says Chicken of the Sea. <laughs> that made her infamous. But we did find chicken in a can. So Rush, she white decided, meat. white, what? White meat white meat and she decided let me try something let me see if I can make this into an arroz con pollo very infamous in Puerto Rico actually it's a Puerto Rican dish but I'm not Puerto Rican but you're not Puerto Rican you're Colombian and Cuban I'm Puerto Rican and Italian and Native American and go figure that one out what is this you're adding I'm adding olives mmm with the red peppers inside, right? Yeah, with the pimento on it. Pimentos. I'm gonna add that to it. Oh, it's oregano. No tenía tapa. Voy a cambiar, cambiate. Mm -hmm. Tengo. 
Oh, I love, I love the sazón. This is oregano. That's oregano? Yeah. Eso es adobo. No, I'm using oregano. Oh, so what is that? I'm, I'm going to use that too. That's adobo. But this is oregano, which is what I'm putting. I normally don't use this, but you don't have a lot of spices here, so I'm going to use it today. The best way to people's heart, the way to a person's heart is through food. We love cooking. I'm sure many of you love cooking. Please subscribe to the channel. Felipe Rose official. I Felipe just, Rose channel. And? And uh, where's Estella.com? Estella.com. What's your channel? Name of your channel. Where's Estella? Where is Estella? Yeah, where's Estella? Um, actually, it's Estella Nena's Kitchen. Estella Nena's Kitchen. Please subscribe. And thank you for watching. I see, we see a few people peeking in. No, those are the foodies. I love when people peek in when they like. I do that if I see a cooking demonstration. Okay, so I cracked pepper. Even though I love has it, but I like that extra cut. And to give my rice color, because it's got to be yellow, I'm going to use this, which I normally don't use. I normally use bihol, which is a spot, uh, a Bihol. What is bihol? It's a spice that uh, us Cubans use to make soups yellow. It makes the food yellow. That's what we use. It's like, um, it's similar to azafran. See how the color in the, the color that it's taking. My buddy here. I need to peek down in the oven and see what's down there. Go ahead. Oh, baby. Turkey meatballs. Italian bread with garlic on it. Fingerling potatoes. Mmm. And since they brought me parsley instead of cilantro, which is fine. It doesn't matter whether you use parsley or cilantro. You can use either or. Now you're technically just sweating everything out. Yeah. So I usually use uh, water. You're going to be doing beer. I'm going to use water. You're going to use water, okay? But um, is all the beer going into the pot? Yeah. Oh, doggone it! Yeah. Can I have that measuring cup? Thank you. So three was the number, right? Three. This is a magic number. All right, so this is my chicken from the can. So wish me luck, guys. Should we got the larger one? You want to switch it? I can do that. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. I don't want to go through headache. So we got one here. So we got two cups exactly. So one cup. Would be oh my water. God, that smells incredible! I'm gonna add my rice. And by the way, she makes amazing Chinese rice, but she only does it for the holidays. Thanks. You sound what? like my son now. <laughs> only for the holidays. We cry every other month. Oh, Chinese rice, please. Por favor. Arrochino. <laughs> Por favor. Oh so those two Coronas made two cups of beer. And now I need to add a cup of water. Bring my wine. Sure. Please, thank you. This camera boy is getting thirsty.
Señores y señoras, este es arroz con pollo, con coronita, cervecita, that means it's Corona Beer, yeah, baby. Mm. No? Yes. The cut is fine, actually. This is how my mother, this was a trick my mother showed us. If your spoon falls, then you have the right consistency of water. Let's see if it's true. Yep. So I should have the right consistency of water. Now you let this boil for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. No, this will be ready in 20 minutes. And the flan, did you check on the flan? The flan I'm going to shut off in a minute. I may need a little bit more water. Really? Seriously? Yeah. This is almost done. Let's see that. Yum. <laughs> now you let it in, you set it aside and you let it cool, right? Yeah, you gotta let it cool for at least two hours. For at least two hours. So this dish is done. Um, I'm gonna put a lid over it and once it's done, we'll come back. I'll come back with the finished product. So I'll see you guys in a few. And then we're doing another segment. Yeah, we're going to do another segment with Felipe. He's going to be doing tapas. And ta tapas for appetizers. And my tequila. Oh, and his uh, famous um, tequila guacamole. guacamole. It's delicious. You don't get drunk, but it's delicious. So, see you in a few. Bye.